Welcome back everybody to linuxacademy.com. My name is Terry and in today's video we're going to continue our exploration of Nginx, the web server. So following up on our previous videos and talking about logging for our Nginx system both universally and at a domain level, now we're going to take a look at how we can customize the format of our access log. And this is going to be useful in terms of differing environments and the information that we may want to capture depending on how we have our, our systems and services deployed across our infrastructure. Again, the, the error log can't be customized other than the level of logging that it contains. However, the access log can be completely customized for however you want to use it. So let's take a look at our existing configuration. So if we go to uh, our Etsy Nginx and vhost.d directory and we edit our www.myexample which is the the one we've been working on we'll see that we've defined an access log that is using the default combined format and then an error log that is using a debug level now by default the access log uses a combined format which is, is is a format containing the remote address the remote user the time a request status uh, the number of bytes sent in the body the http refer and the user agent as well as in some systems depending on the version of nginx the x forwarded for ip that's by default everything that we get however what we can do is we can define one or more log formats that contain exactly what we want the format to be. And we just have to name them and then we can use them within our access log configuration. Now we're doing this on a domain level and in fact we're only doing this in the server listening on HTTP whereas I can define a completely different access format for my server listening on 443. But we're, we're, we're going to define this right now in the one listening on HTTP. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. So if we create a log format, we have to give it a name. So we're just going to call it my access format. And then it can contain within a single quote almost anything that you want it to be. Now there's a large number of system variables that you can, can that you can place into here. So let's stick with the ones that are in the log format uh, by default, but but maybe laid out a little bit more clearly in, in uh, our access log. So my access format, for example, I want to know what the remote IP that's making the request is, and then I can say remote address, and you can find a listing of all of the log format variables that are available using Google or on Nginx's documentation. Uh, we'll put a link to that in the course notes. So I've got uh, the remote address and I want to know what time the request was made. Time of request. And that will be indicated by the time underscore local. And then finally, the user agent that made the request or the browser since the user agent is basically the browser agent that the request came in by and that'll be under HTTP underscore user underscore agent. Now what does all this do for us? Well right now it doesn't change anything because if you notice here in the access log I'm still using what's called the combined format. And the combined format is simply the default. In order to use the new log format that I've defined, then I simply change this to my access format, which is the first variable that the access log can take after the name of the log file. So I'm now saying, instead of using the combined format and buffering it for 32K writes, in the access log when I'm writing this, use the my access format that I've defined above which is again the remote IP, the time of the request, and the browser agent. That's all I want to know in this case. So I want to do an nginx-t and make sure I haven't made any mistakes, which looks like we're okay. And I do a server service nginx restart. And let's go over to var nginx and or var log nginx. 
and we have some zero byte files. We've I cleared those out after uh, our last video to to cut down on any confusion from some of our old access log formats. And let's generate some some traffic. So if we do a links HTTP, and we'll call this uh, www.myexample.local. We know we're pulling the myexample.local file. And let's generate an error message, which we know isn't actually there. We have our custom error log file that we created in our, or our custom 404 message that we created in a previous video. I see that the error log contains uh, information as well as the access log itself. And in fact, if I do a cat on the access log, then I should see instead of the uh, format that we've seen in the past, we should see the format that we wrote here, which is remote IP, the time of the request, and the browser agent, which clearly indicates that we were using the Lynx browser, and this is the full user agent string. So we have the ability to completely customize our log files, and in fact, let's go ahead and clear this screen, and if we go back to our Etsy, Nginx, and vhost directory, and edit our www dot my example we can we can define multiple formats that allows us for example to my access dev if I wanted other information in here so for my access dev I'd have the ability to come in and change the formats of my log files depending on how I want to start the service for the environment that it's in so this is just a test and we'll we'll have it um, set the remote address that we need here and all i would have to do then would be to change this value from my access format to my access dev and i could have these in any form or fashion that I wanted to. So we're going to do an nginx-t and a service nginx restart and let's do some uh, traffic generation to www.myexample.local and now we this should then be able to go over to var log nginx and if we tail the my example access log we should now see the last one this is just a test so we have full control over our access log format and we can define it in any number of ways either inside the server configuration if it's on a domain level basis or we can define multiple log formats in our nginx.configuration file. Unfortunately there's no method of of customizing the error log definition that uh, that nginx uses that's using the, the the default error log format based on the log level so and I understand why that would be because they they would have to customize your ability to change the log format for each of the log levels in the error log itself. Although I would find some value in just being able to specify an error log format um, without having to worry about run levels. So in other words, if we override it, we would simply override it with a, with a local value or a custom format, and it would invalidate the use of any of the log levels themselves. That is a feature request that's been made a number of times in the Nginx community. I hope to see that they, they'll do that in the future. But for customize, customizing our access log format, that's all there is to it. My name is Terry for Linux Academy.